Hello everyone, welcome back to Mass Mode. Here we have interesting equation x to the fourth power minus 4 equal to 0. And let's find all roots. How can I do this? We need to simplify this a little bit, we need to factor it a little bit, so how can I do this? This 4 we can write as 2 square, of course. And this x to the fourth power we can write as x square to the second power because I want to simplify this a little bit and it's a real good case because we will have different, uh, different of square and we can split it into an identity. So equal to zero, we have x square to the power second minus two square. So we have our formula. We have our x a square minus b square. It can be written as a minus b times a plus b equal to equal to zero, but you don't need it right now. So this is our a and this is our b. So a is our x square and b is our two. So we will have an interesting case. We will have x square minus two times x square plus two equal to zero. If you have a situation like that, if we have two parentheses equal to zero, we write two equations. First parentheses equal to zero and second parentheses equal to zero. So the first case, x square minus two equal to zero. So let's solve this equation. We will have x square minus two equal to zero and x square equal to two. Taking square root from both of the side and we will have our x first and second equal to plus minus square root of 2. And as you can see, this will be our real number root, root in real numbers. Take a look right here. We will have x square plus 2 equal to 0. Using the same logic as right here, x square equal to minus 2. And as you can see, this x3 and x4 will be our complex root, because x square cannot be equal to minus 2, of course, we know. And let's take square root from both of the side, so we will have x equal to square root of minus 2. Simplifying this, of course, right here we work in complex numbers. Right here, this is real number root. So this, this logic don't work in real number theory, in real number root. So we will have x equal to, I write this minus as square root of minus 1 times 2. Simplifying this a little bit, we can write this square root of minus 1 and times square root of 2. The main thing in complex theory is that this square root of minus 1 equal to e. So remember this or learn this, square root of minus 1 equal to e. So we will have equal to e square root of 2. And of course we take in square root from both of the sides, so right here we need to write plus minus. And we will have our roots, I write this in real numbers, x1 and x2 equal to plus minus square root of 2, and our complex roots x3 and 4 equal to plus minus e square root of 2. And this is our four roots. This is root that we need because we know that right here we will have four roots, right here our real number roots, real number roots, and right here our complex roots. This is our answer. If you agree with the method, if you disagree, maybe you have a faster method how to solve this, write a suggestion in a comment, write a question in a comment, put in subs up, subscribe in for more videos, I really appreciate it, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos.